Welcome to my repair videos. In this video I will show you how I fix a J2 Pro phone that neither charges nor turns on because it has the battery connector totally destroyed. The shortest pin there is the one that connects to the negative pin of the battery. It is so short it cannot make contact with the battery. Because of this, the battery cannot supply power to the phone. Because of this, the phone doesn't charge and doesn't power on. I am going to disassemble the phone, take out the board, and replace the battery connector. I will speed up the video for this. As always, I am going to add some soldering flux. I use a little bit of chip quick. Using the tip of the soldering iron I move the chip wick across the pins of the battery connector so that it mixes with the solder that comes from the factory. This will lower the melting point of the solder, so I can remove the battery connector more easily. I push that with a little bit of force. Once I see it moves a little, I know those pins are already loose. Using this method I don't have to apply excessive heat to the board that can cause damage to nearby components. Now I have to apply chip wick to those two legs on the sides that holds the connector to the board. I proceed in the same way. First I apply a little bit of flux. And then I apply chip wick to those solder points with the soldering iron. By mixing the solder with chip wick, it melts at a lower temperature. It also remains molten much longer than solder alone. Can you see that the battery connector was removed easily, and most importantly the board did not suffer any damage. Now I am going to clean the area in preparation for the new connector. I put a little flux on it, and with the desoldering mesh I remove all the solder residue and chip wick that remained on the board.
I place a new connector and position it correctly. I solder one of the pins to fix the position of the connector. Now I proceed to solder the rest of the pins. Let's flip the board to solder the two legs that helps to hold the connector to the board. I clean with the sopropyl alcohol. It is almost ready. Let's put it back together. I will speed up the video for this. If you want me to make more of this kind of videos make sure to comment below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification. Let's insert the battery and test the phone. You can see that the battery is completely discharged. The red numbers in the upper corner indicate that it is charging at normal speed. If the battery is very discharged it will take a while before it start fast charging. I hope the video has been useful to you. Thank you and see you on the next video.